Okay, let's have a look at an example. So we're trying to work out the cross product of these vectors, vector A and vector B. And by our definition up above, it should be the determinant of I, J, K. A is 2, 3, 5, and B is 4, 1, 6. <coughs> Excuse me, and using the rules of determinants, it's the first thing times the determinant of what's left, which is 3, 5, 1, 6, minus the second one, which in this case is J, and what's left, if you cross out the J column, is 2, 5, 4, 6, plus K, and if we cross out the K column, we're left with 2, 5, 4, 1, that should be 2, 3, shouldn't it? 2, 3, 4, 1. And then we've just got to work out the determinants of what's going on here. So for the first one, 3, 6, 18, minus 5 is 13, minus uh, 12 take away 20 is negative 8, and minus negative 8 is positive 8. And then we've got 2 take away 12 is negative 10. Okay, and as you can see, that's a vector. It's got something in the i direction, something in the j direction, something in the k direction. So we now have a vector. So when we do a cross b, we get a vector. And this particular vector, the size of this vector will be the size of that one times the size of that one times the sine of the angle in between them. And the direction of this one will be at right angles to both of these two. Okay, in the order going from a to b with your right hand will go along the direction of here. But the key thing is, this one, your A cross B, so A cross B is perpendicular to both A and B. Okay, so it goes across both of them, the cross or the vector product.